हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी बॉर्म स्ट्रिंग मैचिंग इन एन एरिंग ऑल इट्स मार्क्ड एज इजी जस्ट बिकॉज द कंस्ट्रेंट्स आर पिटी लो बट वी विल सी द मोस्ट ऑप्टिमल अप्रोच ऑल्सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ इट सिंपली सीज दैट यू आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वर्ड्स एज यू कैन सी दिज वर्ड्स इट्स एन एरे ऑफ मल्टीपल स्ट्रिंग्स गिवन टू यू यू हैव टू रिटर्न ऑल स्ट्रिंग इन वर्ड्स that is a substring of another word so as you can see as is a substring in another word again it should be another word right it cannot be itself because obviously itself will always be there and same way hero is actually a substring in another word right any such okay it is it can be a possibility that this as could have been this as could have been in some other substring also in any one substring if i find it i'm good to go you have to return all such possible all such possible strings in words which are the substring of another word now a very basic naive brute force approach says that i will go and try for all in all all strings i right for every string i again this is i i will iterate i from 0 to n minus 1 which is okay this as a let's say a string for this specific index i which has a string let's say as again as as a word as i will go on and try for all possible j values which means again you see that i did not try for the same value so here what i did i tried for all possible j values again in the same range but making sure that j is not equal to i not equal to i right then when i go when i will get two indexes i and j with this configuration i will get two indexes i and j now i just have to compare that if string of i is a substring of string of j now my problem becomes that i have a string s which is mass i have another string a which is as i just want to see if this specific string is inside the above s now if you don't know it's a simple string matching uh now very brute force basic string matching again in c++ and other languages we have a find function also so i can simply write s dot find a if it is not equals to uh string end in pos end then i can simply say that uh, okay i have found a inside my s but if in reality you have to implement by yourself then also it's very easy how because if you have a mass and if you have a as you will keep one pointer let's say i here another pointer j here compare the character if they are same oh no they are not okay try for the next start point compare your j a and a okay they are matching oh try to move your pointer move your pointer oh they are matching move your pointer move your pointer oh i have reached the pattern end again this is called as pattern this is called as a input string i have reached the pattern end which means i have found one pattern and that's what i wanted now what is the worst case for this if you don't know the worst case for this is what if i have something of this sort right as you can see that in this as i am starting off let's say j here and i here i will match uh, the first character matches okay go on next again it will match you know again it will match then again go on next again oh it did not match right now it did not match then reset it which means bring it back to the home and again reset it also because earlier i started from i started off from this index now i will start from this index now again repeat the same process a a will be compared a a will be compared at this point when i am comparing it oh it is not match oh again reset it then bring it back so did you see what happened that for every index j in my main string again let's say this is a string main string and this is a pattern let's say p right so i in worst case i am going up till the pattern length inside my main string so considering his length is n his length is m right oh let's say k l or l i i i don't want to confuse you with the actual nm with the constraint which i have put up 
right? So if its length is k, its length is l, you see that for every index, which means for every index k, in worst case, you can try for the pattern length, which is let's say l. Thus the time will be k into l. For us, both uh, like the pattern, the input string can be of worst case of string length, which is the word length, right? Again, the string length inside the word, so I can say that my complexity for this specific search will be O of M into M because of it, which is O of M square. So I realize that because of these two i and j's, to iterate on the word pair, it will be O of N square. Now for every pair of i, j, to try for this specific thing that if another string is actually a substring of another string, then it will take a O of M square, where M is the length of individual string. N is the length of words array. This is the words array. Cool. Thus, my complexity will be O of N square into M square. O of N square into M square with my final, final complexity. And obviously, it will work because N is 100 and M is 30. That is pretty low. So, it will simply work. Cool. Let's see the code. It's very simple again. I explained it very deeply because next approaches are actually built on top of the same approach. So in, in this you see, I tried for i, j pair. I made sure that i is not equal to j because obviously I don't want it to be having the same substring. Then I checked that for words of j, right? Find if you have a words of i. If it is not equal to string end, which means, oh, you realized that you have words of j as a substring in words of sorry words of i as a substring in words of j if yes then simply put up that specific words of i right and ultimately because you just because you're looking for a specific word of i yes or a no and you have find like and and you have found one yes then okay simply break out of this loop because now it is not necessary to find any other pair because you just wanted to know if the word of i will be yeah sorry if if the word of i will be a substring of any other string in the word and ultimately return the result. As you can see, the time will be O of n square into m square. As you can see, there is no auxiliary space used. So the space will be O of 1. Now, how to improvise it? Obviously, we realize the main bottleneck. Obviously, I will have to try for all ij pairs for the word. But for each pair, which means to find this, if my s of i is a substring of s of j, to find this thing, we are doing a string matching. And we already know that we have a very famous string matching algorithm, Rabin Cup, KMP, and Z. Again, uh, pretty famous. The most easiest one out of them is Rabin Cup, but it is a bit lengthy to implement. The most tricky one is KMP, but it is the very easiest and fastest to implement and again z is kind of same as kmp so you can just take it like that so we know that again uh, i can simply use a rabin cap approach now if you don't know what rabin cap is i'll highly recommend go and watch this video i'm not going to explain what rabin cap is I, I i'll just give you a disclaimer that in rabin cap if you have a single hash approach and a double hash approach make sure that in a single hash approach which most of people implement and also would tell you on YouTube that can still again again if my string has a length of k and the pattern has a length of l right length of l then single hash approach can still in worst case based on hash collision can give you a k into l time complexity right but a double hash approach will give you a k plus l time complexity for finding if a pattern exists in my string. So again, I will use the exact same code template. Again, I'm using exact the same code template of double hash, right? Double hash just to find if I have a matching pattern or not. So my code remains exactly same. It's just that now I'm calling a Rabin cap search function where I pass my actual string and the pattern. This is the string. This is the pattern. Right. And again, this exact same code is from the video itself. I'll not explain the code, not at all. Uh, everything is explained here, but I'll just show you that. Okay. You will see again, the code link also in the description, but you will see that we have used exact same two hash 
again one hash will also work but i highly recommend that you should be implementing two hash especially like especially in code force and stuff lead code can still work on one hash but i highly recommend go and try for two hash now obviously uh, because you are using a rabin cap and also you used two hash that's there's a time complexity will be o of n square into m plus m or i should say maximum of m comma m which will be o of m itself and for space as we are technically not using any you know vector or anything of that sort it's simply just variables and all that so the space will be o of 1 right now to solve it via kmp as you can see the code is pretty big and you would not be wanting to actually write this much big code no worries just use make use of kmp now kmp also we have a proper video again kmp is not an easy algorithm you have to watch the video with pen and paper just to understand it but i tried my best to explain it now kmp also we use the exact same code this is exact same kmp code and if you don't know i have told you that rather than trying to solve things by yourself apply the strategy of pattern hash string such that if you apply the kmp on this thing just to check post from this index if you find the length of a pattern in the lps array if you don't understand what i said right now go and watch the kmp video and again it is the most easiest way to actually use your kmp pattern right sorry a kmp code right don't go and like actually start writing while loop and all that stuff just to match your string no use this strategy to match your string considering you have built up your kmp as a code like you, you have really corresponding kmp code so you see that i have built a combined array with the pattern hash and the string and then i just called my kmp on this combined and again this is always i do in kmp this week the, the this makes the problem much more easier but this small caveat that hash should not be present neither inside pattern nor inside string use some delimiter which is not there in both the strings and ultimately just starting from the needle plus one size which is this specific length considering the pattern is this then a hash and then the string is this then starting from this specific length in your lps array just check if the lps is equal to the pattern size oh this is which means lps is equal to pattern size which means i have got a specific pattern inside my string and simply return because true again i i didn't want the length or anything i just wanted okay if there's present or not true or false so simply return the true if it is there else return false and again the same thing i just called simply calling is substring and that's it that's the only change now same time complexity o of n square into m but yeah you see a very small code but because you are using a lps array of combined size which is let's say o of n plus sorry o of m plus m thus i can say the space will be o of m although there's extra like space used rather than the rabin cap approach but it is as you can see very 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 short this is a very short code and you only and only have to remember this piece of code when i say remember i actually mean you like i actually mean that you have to remember because kmp people usually trick and it's actually pretty tricky to write a kmp code cool i hope you guys got it if yes then please like it bye bye take care cool and yeah do make sure to watch kmp and rabin cup